Hi, welcome to Kairos House. Today we've got real versus replica. So, what I did, a um, long time ago, I bought a Castelli uh, um, two sacks. It is an Entrata 3 jersey, uh, men's. And uh, have, I just forgot I had it upstairs, so um, I got it out. And uh, I thought, ha! AliExpress do a similar jersey. So I ordered it and uh, it's arrived. So now we're going to do the comparison real against replica. So uh, the real jersey I got from Wiggle, I'm not sponsored by Wiggle. I think it cost me 80, I'm going to say 85 pounds. Um, um, the one from AliExpress, 17 pounds 50. So um, you might be able to, well, you'll see it instantly, um, which is the real one and which one isn't. It's not a bad copy, but we're going to go through it. So um, we'll start off with the yellow one. Okay, in the, uh, in the back of the jersey, we've got Castelli Medium made in Moldova. So as we work down, we don't have a printed badge. It's kind of a rubbery, rubbery badge on this one. Um, the fabric is uh, got a nice pattern there. It kind of looks like checker plate, but it isn't. Um, kind of dimpled. Um, the sleeves are raw edge. They haven't got a uh, grip, like a rubber grip on the inside. They're just raw edged um, like that. Um, in the base, you can see the Castelli name. And this has got slight, a slight grip over the letters. Uh, slight rubber grip, the letters. Um, it's got also got this long tail, um, which is interesting. Uh, moving on to the back, as I flap it over, we have a, uh, applied logo. That's not a print, that is an applied logo. We also have an applied, oh, there's the lens, a applied reflective strip on that side and an applied reflective strip on that side. We have one pocket, two pockets, three pockets in the back. Um, as I bring that down, um, as you can see the uh, rear shoulder and the arm are this very thin, um, very thin material. Yeah, almost so you can see through it. Um, and the rest of the jersey is is um, the same material. So inside we have um, this uh, seam is also made of this see-through material. So. On the sides, yeah, underneath the arm. Um, and the same on that side. Yeah, so we've got the whole of the arm. Um, just raise that up. The whole of the arm and down your side is this material. Um, this material feels um, very wicking. I don't know how else to describe it. Very wicking, I think, is the only way I can describe that. Uh, the zip is uh, good. It hangs nicely. Um, so that is the Entrata 3 jersey. Now we'll move on to the other one I ordered. I ordered it in a different colour. So I wouldn't get it confused mainly. But if we have a look inside, we've got a medium kind of, that's printed, it's printed on. Um, as you can see, the zip is different. I actually am a fan of this zip that closes at the front. It's a white zip, but it closes. We'll look at that in a moment. Uh, it's got a printed badge. Material is kind of like a generic sports top material um, 
down underneath. We don't have Costelli, but we do have a solid white band of grip material, which goes all the way around to the zip. So that white material is uh, grippy. Um, on the back we have, okay now, this is, this is interesting. So where we had a thin material before, we've just got a lighter printed material. So um, it follows the same pattern, but it's lighter printed. Um, also the, the edge of the sleeves are not raw edge. They are uh, hemmed. And they feel quite big. They're, they're um, you're gonna have to have a massive bicep in there. I mean, I've got big hands, but that's about from my, that's almost all of my hand. That is huge. Um, that's not gonna be tight at all. That's gonna be flapping in the wind, in my opinion. Okay, coming down here, we have a printed reflective. That's just printed on. That is printed on. Um, it's following the same sort of uh, the same sort of thing, but um, you can tell pretty much straight away that that is not a replica jersey. However, it's not a bad jersey for seventeen pounds. I have to admit. Um, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. The problem I have with this is the arms are going to be massive. They're going to be flapping around. Well, they're going to be massive on me anyway. Uh, um, other than that, oh, this zip. That is a nice zip. I have to admit. Um, the construction is, I mean, it's all, it's all, um, I, no, I can't see any faults in it at the moment. It looks like it's been stitched. Uh, perhaps a little one there. But the stitching looks good, you know. Um, not everything that comes from China is bad. Um, they've done a reasonably good job on this copy, but um, I reckon that will perform quite well. It's just not... Just the attention to detail a little bit on the arms is the only thing that lets it down. Otherwise, I would say, I mean, this zip is really nice. I'd actually prefer that zip to the to the one that's on the original Costelli one. That is a nice zip. The way it hides the zip on the front is really nice. Um, it's a good zip. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just the arms are going to let it down, I think. And maybe the cut. Because the other Costelli one... Uh, no, the cut is reasonably good. It's longer at the back than it is at the front. Um, um, they're both medium. That isn't that bad. I'm impressed for £17. I reckon that will go quite well. I have to, obviously... Uh, put it on, see uh, how it is. But first impressions, that isn't bad. I reckon that is going to be quite good. Um, well, that's to let you know. Uh, maybe once I've done recording here, I'll put them both on and uh, let you know how it went. So, um, that's what I'll do. I'll put them on, get some selfies with me on, with them on, and uh, we'll see how it looks. See you in a minute. Bye. So this is the proper Castelli jersey. As you can see, arms are tight. Yeah, that uh, that cut round the back. Arms are tight this side. Yeah, and the. Uh, Cut is pretty good. Not bad. Okay. That's what it's going to look up the side. That strip. Yeah. And now we'll put on the uh, other one. 
Okay, so instantly you can tell the arms are a bit baggier. Um, also, that zip thing I thought looked cool is actually not very good. The fit is quite baggy for a medium. Um, the other arm is, see it's not tight, that would annoy me. It just rides up everywhere, look, if you were to go forward on your bike, it just rides up. Um, it's very baggy, it's not as stretchy. I mean the material itself is not that stretchy, but the fit is just a uh, baggy. Um, Let's have a look around the back. There's that strip that's pretending to be the other one. Yeah, the cut. Um, so as you can see, it kind of just bags up, uh, which is a bit disappointing. I actually probably won't wear that ever. So that's 17 pounds and 50 wasted. Woohoo! Okay, so we're back. Um, so that was pretty comprehensive. The original or the real is way better than the replica on this occasion. The material is far stretchier. It's a more aero fit. They're both the same size. Um, yeah, I have to say on this occasion that you get what you pay for, I'm afraid, on this occasion. So, um, yeah, that's the end of my real versus replica. Hope you liked it. Uh, like, subscribe, more videos on this channel. And um, we'll see you again soon. Take care, bye.